My Weirdest School, Book Number Two. Miss Cuddy is Nutty, written by Dan Gutman, pictures by Jim Palot. Chapter Seven. But seriously, I spent that night practicing my jokes. The next morning, everybody was running around like crazy to get ready. I sat behind the desk. My face felt sweaty. Emily tried to powder my nose, but I told her to leave me alone. Okay, let's do this thing! Shouted Miss Cuddy. Are you ready, AJ? Yeah. I can't hear you. Yeah. Three, two, one. Said Alexia. The red light lit up. Action! Said Alexia. My name is AJ, and I hate the morning announcements. I said. Why do we have announcements anyway? We might as well sit at home and tell jokes instead. By the way, speaking of sitting at home, my dad used to work at a calendar factory, but he got fired. Do you know why? Why? Everybody shouted. He took too many days off. I said. Hey, do you know what's bad for your health? What? Everybody shouted. Too many birthdays. I said. What did Earth say to Mars? What? Everybody shouted. Get a life. I said. And speaking of dead things, do you want some of my old dead batteries? They are free of charge. But seriously, folks, what did the tie say to the hat? What? Everybody shouted. You go on ahead. I'll hang around. I said. Hey, speaking of hanging around, my mom said I was outstanding because I stand outside a lot. And speaking of being outside, basketball sure is a messy sport. Isn't it? The players dribble all over the floor. And speaking of messy things, did you know that watermelons have really fancy weddings? Well, they can't elope. I told a few more jokes, and then Alexia gave me the sign that time was almost up. Well, that's our morning announcements for today. I said, "This is AJ signing off. You stay classy, elementary students." And cut! Shouted Alexia. The red light on top of the camera turned off. Great, AJ said, "Miss Cuddy, I'd like to see Dirk School top that." She went over to change the channel to the dark morning announcements. That girl, Morgan Brocklebank, was on the screen again. She was wearing sunglasses. Please stand for the pledge, she said. At that moment, colored lights began to flash. A drum machine started to play. And then Morgan Brocklebank started rapping. I pledge allegiance to the flag, 'cause if I don't, it's such a drag. Flags are red and white and blue. Why they are, I have no clue. She's rapping her own pledge," shouted Miss Cuddy. Our beautiful and spacious skies, mom and picnics. Apple pies, dig our amber waves of grain. Purple mountains, fruited plain, broad stripes and bright stars. Super Bowls and fast cars, to the republic for which it stands. Now it's time to all join hands. Star-spangled banners wave, for the free and for the brave. 
we pledge allegiance to our flag, and when we're done, we'll go play tag. Have a great day at Dirk School, shouted Morgan Brocklebank. Miss Cuddy looked like she was going to explode. That Dirk kid did a rap version of the Pledge of Allegiance, she shouted. Why didn't we think of that? A few minutes later, Mrs. Patty came in to give us the bad news. Eighty people had tuned in to watch the Dirk School announcements. Only sixty had watched Towers. No! shouted Miss Cuddy, falling to her knees. They beat us again! I'll do better next time, I promised. I'll have the whole weekend to work on new jokes. No more jokes, Miss Cuddy shouted as she got up. Dirk School makes their morning announcements fun and lively. Our show has to be more entertaining, so I have made a big decision. We need to bring in some fresh blood around here. Fresh blood? Gross! Why would you bring blood to a school? If one anchor is good, two anchors would be twice as good, Ms. Cuddy said. So, starting Monday, AJ, we're going to team you up with a co-anchor. And the co-anchor will be Andrea. What? Chapter 8 The Worst Day of My Life Thank you, thank you, thank you, Andrea said. I always wanted to be on TV. It wasn't fair. Starting the TV station was my idea, not Andrea's. I was supposed to be the anchor. This was the worst day of my life. Should I write a script for Monday, Miss Cuddy? Andrea asked. No, she replied. I chose you to be co-anchor so you and AJ can banter with each other. Banter? I asked. What does that mean? Just talk to each other. Miss Cuddy told us, you two have great chemistry together. Ooh, Ryan said, AJ and Andrea have great chemistry together. They must be in love. When are you gonna get married? asked Michael. On Monday, there were two chairs at the anchor desk, one for me and one for little Miss Know-it-all. Andrea was sitting there, getting her nose powdered by Emily. The guys were working with the cameras and stuff. Hey, what about me? I shouted. Aren't you going to powder my nose? You told me to leave you alone, Emily replied. I want my nose powdered, I shouted. Thirty seconds to airtime, shouted Alexia. We were all on pins and needles. Well, not really. We were sitting on chairs. If we were on pins and needles, it would have hurt. Okay, it's go time, folks, said Ms. Cuddy. Are my anchors ready? Yeah, Andrea and I said. I can't hear you. Yeah, break a leg out there, said Ms. Cuddy. What? Why would she want us to break our legs? That made no sense at all. Three, two, one said Alexia. Action! Welcome to the morning announcements, I said. My name is AJ and I hate school. My name is Andrea and I love school, said Andrea. Should we start with the weather, Darlo? Sure, I said. The weather outside is... 
I didn't get the chance to finish my sentence because Andrea interrupted me. Instead of talking about today's weather, she said, I'd like to talk about tomorrow's weather. What? I asked. Who cares about tomorrow's weather? We can't talk about tomorrow's weather tomorrow. Did you say tomorrow? Andrea asked. That's when she did the most amazing thing in the history of the world. She got up and started singing. The sun will come out tomorrow. Oh no, Andrea was singing that dumb song that she always sings. She threw her arms out to her sides and sang the whole song. It was horrible. After that was over, she sang another song about a hard knock life or something. I'm not sure of the words because I was covering my ears the whole time. I thought I was gonna die. Finally, Andrea stopped singing and sat down. She looked at me like it was my turn to start talking. Uh, so do we have any birthdays at elementary school today? I asked. There are no birthdays today, Arlo, Andrea said. So instead, I'd like to do a little dance. What? Before I could say anything, Andrea had climbed up on the desk and started clog dancing, which is some kind of dance that plumbers do. Andrea takes clog dancing lessons after school. In fact, Andrea takes classes in everything after school. If they gave classes in nose picking, she would probably take them so she could get better at it. Finally, Andrea finished her dumb dance and sat back down. Then she looked at me again like I was supposed to say something. Lunch for today will be macaroni and I'm sorry but that's all the time we have for the announcements. Andrea said, have a great day elementary students and we'll see you right here tomorrow. Then she started singing again. I love ya tomorrow. You're always a day away. And cut! shouted Alexia. The red light on top of the camera turned off. Awesome! said Miss Cuddy. That was fantastic, Andrea. Let's see what those dark jerks are doing with their morning announcements. She flipped the channel to the dark station. It looked like every kid to the dark station. It looked like every kid in dark school was out on their playground. They were all singing and dancing, and they were dressed like werewolves. Wow, everybody said, which is mom upside down. That's Michael Jackson's thriller, Andrea shouted. I've seen that video. No, shouted Miss Cuddy. Not thriller. Then she fell on the floor and started sobbing. Chapter 9 A Word from Our Sponsor it didn't take long for the bad news to arrive. Our ratings went down. Only 40 people tuned in to see our morning announcements. 90 people watched Dirk School put on Thriller. This is a disaster, Ms. Cuddy moaned. Everything we do, Dirk does better. I must admit, I was secretly happy that our ratings went down. If Andrea's singing and dancing had been a big hit, we would never have heard the end of it. But Miss Cuddy was really upset. 
She looked like her dog had died or something. It's okay, Miss Cuddy. Ryan said, "It doesn't matter to us how many eyeballs we have." Suddenly, Miss Cuddy jumped up. She had that fire in her eyes again. Well, it matters to me," she shouted. "I'm not a quitter. If at first you don't succeed, try, try again. That's what we do. We never give up, right? Right." We all said, "I can't hear you." Right, Miss Cuddy must have hearing problems or something. She's always saying she can't hear us. She should go to a doctor and get her ears checked. She paced back and forth for a few minutes, and then she snapped her fingers. "I've got it," she said. Grown-ups always snap their fingers when they have a good idea. Nobody knows why. You've got what? We all asked. We need to get your parents involved so they'll watch our station instead of the dark station. She said, and I know just how to do it. When we came in the next morning, Miss Cuddy handed scripts to me and Andrea. Emily powdered our noses. The red light went on. Alexia shouted, "Action!" My name is AJ, and I hate school. I said, "My name is Andrea, and I love school." Said Andrea. The weather today is chilly. We'll be right back after this message. The red light went off. We looked up at the TV screen, and you'll never believe in a million hundred years who was on it. My mother. Oh no! I groaned. Hi, I'm AJ's mom. My mother said. I wanted to tell you that I love you, and I'm so proud of you being such a big TV star and everything. Oh, one more thing, AJ. Clean your room. It's a pigsty. Oh snap! Said Ryan. Your mom just said you were a pig. The red light went on again. I looked at my script. Today's lunch will be chicken fingers. I read. We have one birthday today. Derby Dearborn in second grade turns eight years old. And now a word from our sponsor. The red light went off. We looked up at the TV screen, and you'll never believe who was on it. Ryan's mom. Oh no! Groaned Ryan. Hi everyone. Ryan's mom said, "Kids grow up so fast these days. I can hardly believe my little Ryan is such a big boy now, working for a real TV station." It seems like only yesterday that I was giving him a bath in our kitchen sink. Everybody looked at Ryan. He was holding his hands in front of his face. You took a bath in your sink yesterday? I asked Ryan. No, Ryan shouted. I remember when my baby Ryan was crawling around on all fours," said Ryan's mom. "All he could do was burp and pee and say 'goo goo.' I had to wipe his little bottom for him. And now look at him." Everybody looked at Ryan. He was still holding his hands over his face. Is she finished? He asked. Your mom is weird. I told Ryan. She's always going overboard. He said. She jumps out of boats. I asked. 
The morning announcements went on forever because we had to watch commercials from everybody's parents. Finally, after we had all been embarrassed, the red light went off. It was over. Cut! shouted Alexia. Fantastic! shouted Miss Cuddy. Your parents had to watch that. Everybody wants to see themselves on TV.